Hi everyone, I'm Elle and I thought it would be a good time for me to review the Dior D-Way slides that I bought exactly a year ago. So this is a one year review. Um, I'm going to sh kind of show you the wear and tear of it, what I think of it now after having it for a year, and kind of trying to let you know if I think that it was worth it for me to buy it last year. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Okay, this is going to be very gross and vulnerable for me, but because they're shoes and I'm going to show you like close up like how they have worn over the past year of me wearing these. So let me go ahead and show you. I have them here in the dust bags because I brought them on a trip and let's show you. Okay, these are going to be really grimy and <laughs> but let me kind of show you how they have worn. So here they are after one year of me having them exactly. And don't worry, I am going to wash this sheet and wash my hands after this. But um, yep, I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, Christian Dior D-Way slides in the deep blue. Very pretty. And, ooh, this, they smell so good. <laughs> and then here's the second pair. just kind of staring at them because they're so pretty and then here's the back i got them in a size 37. Okay, so forgive me a little bit it's kind of dark in here because it's pretty late in the day but um here is a close-up look of one year of having these um yeah they're pretty worn and kind of gross and i'm kind of like should i even show you the bottoms but for educational purposes, here are the bottoms. Ew, jump scare, pretty gross. But um, yeah, I've had these for a year exactly, and I have worn them a whole lot. Like, let me tell you, well, first of all, I live in an area where it doesn't rain a lot. We don't get a lot of, a lot of snow. It's very, um, very beautiful weather where I live. Um, and I go on a lot of like tropical-ish vacations, so I wore these a whole lot. Like if I wasn't wearing my Birkenstocks or my sneakers or um, I don't know, other things like that, I was always wearing these and I was wearing them on vacations. I took them everywhere. I, um, I went to a resort where there was sand and I did a whole lot of walking in a whole lot of places. Um, I've had these rained on. I've I've worn them everywhere. So here is a um, kind of uh, what to expect if you want to buy these shoes. So first of all, I um, I was very very nervous about buying these because um, these are my first designer pair of shoes. So, um, and I am one who loves wearing slides and like flip-flops and sandals. So I thought that this would be a good, um, a good start for me. So, um, I sprayed these with, I can't remember what it's called, but if I find it, I will, um, put it in the description box. It's this, um, it's this spray, um, to kind of protect the embroidery and yeah, like the, tops of it look really good i'm pretty sure they look um exactly how i bought them they look really good and um something really noticeable if you have been looking into getting these shoes is that the um what is this called the gold foiling has worn off like basically all of it like you kind of see little remnants of it but yeah it totally um it totally rubbed off you cannot see it at all which I was concerned about but I mean it sucks that that happened but I it, at least like you know when your foot is in it you don't know but kind of a bummer but not too mad about it because I kind of expected it and you can kind of see the imprints of my toes there so yeah pretty gross um, and then here is the backs of it. Okay, this is really, really grimy. If you do not want to watch this, um, you can jump ahead, but I just wanted to show you so you know what to expect. It has this rubber bit on it, and this whole part is not, like, it is 
I actually don't know what kind of material it is, but it gets worn out really bad. And then you can see like this Dior part is all scraped up. So yeah, pretty bad. And then um, I noticed that there is a scuff right here. But honestly, um, me knowing how much I have used and abused these shoes, um, I'm not surprised. And I think my biggest, um, the biggest surprise to me is that the embroidered part um, looks really good. And I mean, they look very worn right now because I'm like showing you my shoe like this, but when they're on your foot, like you cannot tell at all. And I'm really glad that I got it in this navy color because it looks really good with jeans and like a lot of lighter colors that I wear. And um, I think because they're a darker color, you don't see as much wear. I mean, and now I'm like thinking like, should I get a pair where it's like lighter? Um, maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but, um, um, like, now that I see how much this has, um, lasted, I am thinking about getting another pair, or at least now that I have worn them, and these were my first luxury shoes, I'm thinking to myself, okay, that was kind of worth it because of the amount of times that I've used it, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, this is kind of what you have to um, expect when you buy these shoes. Oh, and also when I first wore them, this was completely smooth, right? And it was very slippery. Like wherever I would walk around, it was super slippery. So, um, and I think after you've worn them out a little bit, it's not that bad, but yeah. And also if you are looking for something super, super comfy, I don't know if these are the pair to you for you like they are not the most uncomfortable but they're also not my comfiest slipper like I totally didn't mind wearing these for like to the mall or if I'm gonna wear them for a few hours but I would say anything longer than like five hours of consistent walking um, you might feel or you might start to get blisters but I mean like that's how it is with a lot of other sandals so I don't know you can kind of figure out if you if that's okay for you and also like I have a wide foot and um these are pretty comfortable honestly they're not my comfiest but I could definitely wear them for um for at least three hours which is which is fine with me um but yeah, I checked on the website and these are the same exact price that I got them for last year, which was $7, $730. They're the exact same price. And I think that that like for like a luxury brand um, is not too bad for shoes. I know that sounds pretty crazy, but um, considering the amount of time that I've worn them last year and how much I plan on wearing them this year, um, I don't know. I think that's kind of worth it. Like they haven't fallen apart, which I am very thankful for, and they just look really nice. Um, and if you are into like the logos, I think it's like pretty nice because I mean it is huge, but it's not like too flashy of a logo, you know. But yeah, overall, I would totally buy these shoes again. I'm thinking about buying like a lighter colored pair. They look really good with my outfit and they look really good with jeans, white, beige, um, pinky colors, grays. Um, yeah, looks super cute and I'm excited to wear them um, for this spring and summer. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that was helpful to you guys. That was very um, vulnerable of me, <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. Bye.